It's been okay. Okay. For recording purpose. So I'm creating one simple function, create replace function, function name, first name, last name, two are the input parameters. I want to get the full name with, con with this uh, format. So for this purpose, we are creating one function. Generally, function will take the input and return the output. See, function will take one or more inputs and always returning some output like this. Okay. This is the uh, uh, structure of the function. Simply create function, function name, return. I, I want to return in varchar format. Even inputs also I am giving in varchars and I want to give output in varchar format. Then is, I am taking one local variable. So I am storing these two input parameters into, I am formatting this and I am storing this output into full name. Then I am returning that output using return option. Then end of the function name. Then we can call that function in using dual. So basically functions are two types, scalar or single line function and uh, table valued or multi-line function. Next, I'm creating one more function here. I want to give there is one search box. There is one website. In that website, we have one search search box. Search box means uh, text box. So there is submit button. So in this search box, I want to send the employee ID as one not one. Then I want to click on submit button. Then I want to show this output. Okay, you are getting. So my input is employee ID. Employee ID is number for me. So what is the table name? I have already one table name called employee or EMP. I have one table is employee. So I want to give one not one. Then I need output 101 dash such in dash this salary. So this is the output I want to return. So for this purpose, what we are doing, create or replace function, function name. You can give function name is anything up to 32 digits. So this name could be in 32 characters length. Okay. So, uh, to capital to convert into capital small or case sensitive like this, then you need to use alt colon alt plus this code. Will change the case characters case. So I want to put like this, then we want to use alt plus quote symbol. See, like this. Next. One second. Now give me a second, I'm getting caught. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm there. So um, after is, I will take one more uh, uh, variable called V output. So this output I want to return in varchar format. Varchar of two. Okay. Then now I want to fill the data in this output uh, variable. Then I want to return this one. I want to return this one at end. Return this one. Then I want to store my data into this one. See, select 
star from employee employee where employee id equal to here i want to pass the input parameter this is the input parameter so i am passing this input parameter here suppose somebody will give you the input parameter in uh, different different format like they will give some spaces like that suppose instead of giving 101 they will give 101 space then it is difficult to you it won't return so in that case you need to trim that one we have trim option right so v emp id number so we want to convert that to v emp id equal to i am loading the v emp id trim of v emp id so i am trimming this uh, input parameter trim means removing spaces at the first at the last you know already trim function then i am storing this output into vemp id so now i will use this vemp id in where condition okay now i will get some data so what kind of data i need emp id comma e name comma salary these three i need but i need in dash dash format so pipe symbol again pipe symbol between these two i want to put this one then same so i will get this output in this format then i want to store this output into one variable because I, I am returning this variable right so i am storing this format into one variable that's it then i will create this function uh, single length constant must be in range one second Yeah, I forget to give size here. Here we want to give size because it is uh, local variable. Yeah, this is compiled successfully. Then I want to check the output. Instead of table, I'm giving the, oh, sorry. Select function name of, I'm giving 101 from DL. Okay. As EMP info is column name. Okay. My employee information is 101 Sachin. So if I give 101, then I will get the um, let me concatenate something. Employee ID. One not one data is I'm concatenating something. Okay. Okay, like this employee ID 101 data is Sachin and uh, this salary with salary. So, this is the way we want to create the functions. So, now uh, in that uh, website, I can use this function. Okay, this is the use of function. So, websites are basically two types of websites will be there static dynamic websites so static website means suppose if you see any uh, simple website then the data we want to put in the html format let me create one html format
yeah can you open notepad or let it be so static website means we are, we don't get the data from database simply we will write all the things in html format then html pages we will show in the website dynamic website means we will get the data from database like this we will search the data we will report the data we will show our entire data from the database so that is called dynamic website so in this all our like any phone pay google pay any you know sbi icici app all these are dynamic websites only so in every app uh, we are we are using the data like this so this is a kind of hr website hr is entering the employee id to know the name and salary like this okay yeah this is called functions so i will explain few more functions tomorrow functions means user defined functions user defined functions